Hey guys, it's Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to take a look at the Rotated Rectangle Tool. So, the Rotated Rectangle Tool is like the Rectangle Tool, except the rectangle you create is rotated. And this could mean like, uh, you know, at the base, it could rotate this way. It could mean it's tipped up. It could mean both. It could be rotated and tipped. Um, I know those terms don't mean anything. So let's get into the actual 3D model where I don't have to gesture with my hand. We can actually see what it does. All right. So here I am in, I'm in the app and let's see, I'm currently in, let's go to just draw mode so we can see this work. Uh, the rotated rectangle tool is not in the default toolbar. So I do have to hit the ellipse and choose rotate a rectangle right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And when you first get it, you're gonna get this uh, little compass is gonna come up. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna draw two lines. So where the normal rectangle tool, I, I draw one corner, then the other corner. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw one baseline and then I'm gonna draw a second line, which is going to create the other side of the rectangle. And I can create either of those lines uh, in any direction. So let's keep this simple. We'll start, start right here. I'm gonna just draw a flat line. So I'm gonna tap and then draw and then release. So that created my first, the baseline of it. Now I can pull out the length of the rectangle. So I'm gonna click here and start dragging this way. And you can see on that compass, I can drag this up. I can drag it down. I can go below the ground. Uh, if I was to click right here, it would just drop it flat. But let's go ahead and angle it up a little bit and release. And you see that's what, what I created there. Uh, this works the same for the other input mode. So if I was to move to click, move, click, the difference being, of course, I'm going to hard press, hard press, hard press to create it. But it's the same thing. Click, click, click. Uh, with touch, if I come in and do that, it's going to be long press, long press, and then I'm going to come up here, long press, and then, of course, with the mouse, same thing, S simple, simpler actually, you know, with the mouse to just go click, click, and then click. So easy to input, it's pretty simple, especially if I'm just doing arbitrary rectangles like this, but where would you actually use this? This is one of those tools that's like, okay, so why is that better than drawing a rectangle flat on the ground and rotating up or drawing a line, 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 line? Like why is it, how does that help me? So let's go ahead and let me go, I'm gonna, zoom over here, I have this big rectangle and you can see it's an extruded rectangle, a box. And it's not following the red green axis. Uh, so if I wanted to draw something like a ramp coming down off of this box, um, I could draw a rectangle out in space, rotate it down. I could draw a bunch of lines and like a, a triangle to try to do, or I could use the rotate rectangle, which of course that's, that's why we're here, right? So I'm in click, move, click mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna long press here and drag this across and then click onto this point right here. So, whoops, I, I, I clicked too many times there. I switch to just draw. I really just, I excel at just draw. So I'm gonna click and drag across here. That gives me the first line. And see now I have this where all I have to do is come in here and, and angle that down to where I want it and then release to get that. So very quick, very easy way to get this. This is a great tool for doing things like uh, roof systems, right? You're working on a roof, you have the your where your heel is, draw a line across there, drag up to the peak, even if it's at an angle, well, especially when it's at an angle, uh, it's really nice to go in and put that kind of geometry in there. So that is a quick look at rotated rectangle. You end up with the same thing. So when I'm done, this is just, this is just, you know, it's just geometry. It's not in a group or anything special like that. In fact, all of these rectangles I created, same thing, just, just a face with, with edges around it, uh, but much easier, much quicker to put in if your, if your rectangle is rotated, like I said, in the flat, if it's rotated around the Z axis where it's at an angle from the red and green axis, or if it's sloping. So I hope you, that made sense. Rotated rectangle is one of those where originally I was like, oh man, but it's so much easier if I just do three or four or five steps over here instead. And then I finally clicked with me. Well, no, it's just click, click, click. And then you have a rotated rectangle. So hopefully you got that from this video.
If you liked that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here, and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you like rotated rectangle? Have you used it on SketchUp for iPad? What other commands do you think we should cover in this video series? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.